and here we are near the Pattaya port which hasn't changed all that much since I've been here last time 19 years ago in the distance there are more high-rises across the bay but not too many changes since my last visit at least and here we are Pattaya after 19 years been here in 1987 for the first time guys I had stayed in this hotel 35 years ago it's the Sunshine Hotel I stayed in it many times through the years had many nice girlfriends here and I have a photo standing right in this spot and I'm going to include that in the video if I can find it see let's see the hotel on the inside Hi, how are you? <laughs> the reception used to be right there where the chairs are now. They changed that since then. The pool area is largely unchanged. I remember I used to have breakfasts right here at these tables. Not sure if the tables are the same anymore, probably not. But that's where I used to have my breakfast. So nice to see, nice to see, be back here. I haven't been here in this particular hotel for at least 30 years. Nice to see that it's still here. And I rented this motorbike for the occasion to explore Bataya, my old homes. And we are still in front of the Sunshine Hotel here. And right here on this sidewalk, the, many of these buildings were just being built. There was just some wooden poles and nothing more. And many beautiful young ladies would be sitting on this sidewalk and waiting for someone to take them. Wow, what a scene that was. And I'm on Soy Bukau and I came across a place called Cafe Pitini right in front of us. It's a joint I used to frequent many years ago and it just seems they have changed their location but I'm going to inside and check it out. Yep, so it's the same cafe. I just forgot the location after 20 years. Small wonder. And I'm going to have something, just like in the old days. The tables are all the same, the pictures are the same, so it's great stuff. So guys, this is what I get in Cafe Pitinis after 20 years. Completely unchanged. Even the restaurant inside, the decor, is completely unchanged. Nothing had changed. So let's try our meal. It's a trip down the memory lane. So, uh, I was hoping it would still be here, and not only is it still here, it's exactly the same outside and inside. The decor is the same. I had forgotten the location, but it's actually exactly the same place and same spot. Food is good, as always. Seven to one. 
fairly good deal. So let me finish this food and we'll move on somewhere else. This Diamond Arcade in the 90s and in the late 80s was absolutely rocking. At this time of day it would be full of girls and customers. And these, there were several go-go bars right here which were really famous for very pretty dancers. And I don't know what time they get going, but in the old days they'd be going since at least 3 p.m. until 3 a.m. And here these carousels in this one I had picked up the very first girl when I came to Pattaya the very first time right here. And there were many sitting around. It's now like a ghost town almost. I stayed right here at the Diamond Beach Hotel, which is under the green cover. Right there it is. It was a very convenient hotel. Seems to be closed, yes. Up here was a very good go-go. But like everything, 
it's pretty much a dead place compared to the old days yeah I suppose the more McDonald's restaurants you have in town and the more 7-elevens usually the way it goes that the fewer the traditional nightlife it's becoming just like the West stale you know you got your McDonald's your Burger Kings everything standardized and all the party is gone it's very sad to see guys here is the marine disco right there this was the major pickup joint party time there was hundreds of freelance girls very pretty ones and just as many foreign tourist guys who were picking them up and danced the nights away got drunk it was absolutely wild below the disco behind these metal sheets there used to be a Muay Thai boxing ring and behind me right here this was full of pretty women as well and bar girls and customers and uh, at this time of day it would have been already rather full but this is the way Pattaya has gone and has been going for a long time so this is already almost 5 p.m. it's virtually deserted there will be a few people later on a few girls few women but the marine bar being gone this is a shock to me I spent so many nights dancing and drinking and picking up girls here well just the memories now and perhaps the next time I come here it it'll be completely gone unless they are renovating it I'll try to find out guys down in in these streets in fact right here behind this green curtain there were some street stalls and I'm talking about 1980s and I ordered some food here from these stalls and it made me sick like never before and only once in my entire 38 years on the road I never got sick like that before or after it just happened one time right here and I'll never forget it I puked over and over again in the street in the hotel and until it finally I had nothing left inside of me but this was probably 1989 and I'll never forget it so I shouldn't be telling you stuff like this in a video but it's uh, you know one time I got sick to my stomach the, and only time in the entire time that I had been traveling around Asia so it was right here for you and I'm at Jomtien Beach after about 25 years. Here on Jomtien Beach Road, there is one hotel, it's called the Sea Breeze Hotel, where during some of my very first visits to Thailand, uh, maybe 37 years ago, I used to stay in it and I used to go to the beach right here across the walkway. And, uh, we should be coming across it pretty soon if it's still there but I'd love to see it <coughs> the sea breeze hotel I hope I just hope for the sake of old days old times that it's still here because there is a lot of new buildings but many old ones as well Oh yes, it's there. And 
I see it already. That's wonderful. We're talking 35 years back. And you know, at this point, one is happy. It's right here, the, the orange sign. Here on the left, up. Sea Breeze Jongtian Resort. This is it. Wow. Check it out. A compulsory drink is in order. Guys, the Sea Breeze Hotel. Quite unchanged. Look at it. I used to lounge in this pool three and a half decades ago. Wow, time flies, but this trip and revisiting these old haunts honestly makes me feel a lot fresher and younger. If only to just bring back the memories, which it certainly does. Yeah, well, I've been quite busy walking around and driving around, so it's time to sit for coffee in a nice beach joint. And right behind me is the John Tian Beach. Oh, thank you. Oh, feels nice. I relax a little bit. to be back. Pattaya definitely has still that relaxing atmosphere, minus the wild nightlife. It does have nightlife, which we'll see very soon, but from the vibes I'm getting, it'll be subdued, but we'll check it out. Approaching the notorious 6th Street, which is as busy as always, as you can see. Well, honestly, I'm surprised at the number of women, it's almost as many as before. I'd say they just tend to be quite a lot older but you can still find some nice girl if you really like Still alive, nice to see. This is the only place that retains that wild feel to it, like in the old days. So I did not, I thought there would be many fewer women, but nice, nice surprise. Good old Pattaya is not completely dead just yet. And here is the 
notorious beach road this was the freelance pickup spot maybe it's still today in the evening all along this beach walk you could meet freelance women and negotiate a deal mutually acceptable and convenient yeah am i glad to be in pattaya you bet you it's like you chop off 20 years off my age this is what streets of Bukau look like in the evening party time Surprisingly, the town is not yet dead. Wow, transformer. That's scary, that's scary. <laughs> I didn't expect to find this here. is up with me looks like party is on in Pattaya certainly more than I thought the only drawback would be that maybe not all but nearly all the ladies are a bit older these days
think that's about all I've got to say from Pattaya after two decades and while the nightlife is slowly dying it's certainly not dead yet and as far as other attractions are shopping restaurants well that's better than it used to be it's very modern but it's also more expensive than it used to be and um, you can still find if you are a single guy you can still find some lady so it's not completely finished and it's certainly better than if there was nothing, so no question, it's worth coming. And generally speaking, it's just pleasant. And Thailand has always been pleasant. And I'm very glad that I had revisited Pattaya for old time's sake, as well as for the relaxation. Today has been a bit cloudy and windy, but feels actually very nice. Check it out. The waves are huge. I'm going to enlarge it. The boats are all swaying. You know, the palm trees are swaying. Check it out. Quite a windy night. an enjoyable walk down the old Pattaya beach. In the old days this was a notorious pickup joint with loads of freelancers which right now it's basically just tourists and families. But all things considered I am happy to have seen the old haunts and it's been refreshing Yeah, it's worth coming and still. And I say goodbye from Pattaya. Ciao.